Um, hello, we need uh, to introduce uh, today uh, the EMI measurement using the lesson. Lesson is the abbreviation of uh, line uh, line impedance stabilization network. And this device is used to measure the conducted electromagnetic interference in the circuit. So <coughs> this test, I will show you now how we, to do this test and what is the uh, specific requirement for this test. Okay, in the beginning, <coughs> you see this chart. This is a typical connection for the uh, lesson test. You see that here we have the main source and the main source is going uh, st uh, through the lesson and after that we go out from the lesson to the equipment that uh, you need to test okay so uh, there is some uh, dimensions that we should uh, and some 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 uh, equipments that you should use the first thing that the lesson should be uh, on a metallic uh, plate and this plate is connected to the ground after that uh, we connect the cable from the lesson to the load some standards say that this cable should be uh, in range of one meter and also it's very important to put the equipment uh, to be test on the wood on a wooden table this wooden table should be isolated from this uh, 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 ground okay and uh, also the distance between uh, this equipment and the lesson should be 80 centimeter this distance between the equipment to be test and the lesson and also the height of the equipment should be 80 centimeter okay as you see here this is a uh, 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 metallic ground and uh, here is our device the lesson you'll see that this lesson is uh, working uh, using three phase here uh, the, the three phase power supply is here and this cable is connected this three phase cable is connected to, uh, to the lesson and the lesson here is in series after that we go out from the lesson to our uh, load here our load is dynamic motor dynamic motor rotates using a variable speed drive and uh, I, I set this variable speed drive to be in uh, uh, 30 hertz so this is not the full speed of the motor but now we, we, we test the motor in case of no load and you see here that this is the wooden uh, table that we use uh, and the distance between the lesson and our load I guess that is more than 80 centimeter but it is good here is the electromagnetic interference test receiver and this receiver is used to take the signal from the listen and uh, um, we can see now the uh, electromagnetic interference in this uh, receiver this receiver is connected to this uh, PC and you can from here uh, run the test and show what we will get uh, now as you see the electromagnetic interference test receiver now is working to uh, uh, get uh, the, uh, the electromagnetic interference in range uh, between 9 kilohertz to uh, uh, 30 uh, megahertz and this is the range of the conducted uh, electromagnetic interference we have uh, this electromagnetic interference receiver and is connected to this PC and you'll see here that he is, he is drawing uh, the uh, the measured signal in two detectors here you will see that we have here quasi peak detector and average detector okay and also you will see here the standards we we can change this standard this is the standard and we can change this standard with different uh, standard but now we have the electromagnetic interference measured uh, using this receiver and now we can use these points and save these points to this PC uh, uh, the test is now uh, running but after we finish we can show you the output as we can see now the test uh, is finished and we have range between 9 kilohertz to 
30 megahertz and uh, you will notice that the, uh, there is an uh, electromagnetic, electromagnetic interference here in some points that uh, exceeds uh, the borders uh, you will see that these points here this is the borders and this exceeds the borders in quasi peak and average detector so now we need uh, to put a filter to filter this uh, electromagnetic interference in this uh, specific uh, uh, or in this in this range of, uh, of frequency uh, and this uh, is the beginning to uh, uh, filter this electromagnetic interference and also we need uh, uh, we'll show you how to uh, make the same uh, measurements but in uh, in the stop mode motor and the motor will be stopped in this case and show you the difference between the results in in both cases